Geology, the study of rocks. I have been a geologist for close to 10 years now, but will those skills help me as I enter a brand new hardcore Minecraft world? So here we are, a brand new hardcore world. Wow, a lot of turtles. Wow, a shipwreck. <laughs> Okay, this was a good start. So our main objectives today are explore the area, pick a base location, get a base built, and start to get our core equipment together. But first, I think it would be rude to not have a quick look at this well-placed shipwreck. Anything? Oh wow, what a start. Oh, well that solved the food problem. I guess the real question is, where are we gonna set up our base? So many birch trees. Okay, that is a fairly deep hole. Oh, there's some wood down there. Is that gonna be a, that is, that's a mine, um, a bit of mine track. I'm liking this area already. I honestly think this hilltop might not be a bad spot because we can go and explore that mine place, at least as a starting location. We can always move from here if we want to. But I think we should start to think about getting set up. Crafting table, wooden pick, and an ax. And immediately upgrade ourselves to stone. I suppose actually using the iron we found, we could just make ourselves an iron pick. Also probably going to invest in a little bit of an iron sword because we are going to go on a little bit of underground adventuring. Let's just take this wheat, convert that into some bread. I think it's time we went exploring and I think we're going to start with that abandoned uh, mine shaft down there. Well, I've landed on the mine track. Is this the actually only bit of mine track? <laughs> Slightly disappointing if it is. There's a tiny little bit of track over there as well, but it looks like most of it has just been eradicated in this cave. But I will have this tasty little bit of iron here. There we go, nice. Well, at least it gives us some more iron to melt down. Uh, well, let's get down onto the floor of this cave then, I guess. We, we have picked up some aggro. Ow. Oh god, half a heart, half a heart, half a heart. This is not going well. This is not going well. Oh, get into the light, get into the light. Oh, oh, okay. That, that was actually a bit harder than I thought it was going to be. Who thought a skeleton could cause me so many problems? Oh dear, I am still really bad at this game. <laughs> oh my god, that kind of uh, was a little bit closer than we would like. Just keep eating some bread so we get back up to full health. Okay, that puts it at 38 iron. That's a really solid start. I think we should probably think about getting the hell out of here before it gets dark and I get stuck in a large hole full of mobs. So what are we going to use our newfound iron for? Well, there's obviously utility things like buckets and stuff to get water because we do need to set up a food farm. But I honestly think it probably is going to be worth the investment in a suit of iron armor. I am pretty terrible at this game. I don't want to die on like day two. I am Iron Man. And hopefully a little bit safer now for it. <laughs> <laughs> but that aside, we really need to build a base. So, let's get gathering resources. So, I've been busy gathering oat logs, and now my rough plan is I'm going to try and build this house almost as like as a right angle into the cliff. And we're going to have some sort of farming areas, like a little bit of a storage area, and then kind of build the house integrated into the cliff. Sounds great in theory, we'll be interested to see how this actually pans out in practice. But anyway, let's give it a go. Okay, so that gives these two like little six by six, three stack pads. Now, admittedly, it's kind of going to look a little bit odd at the moment, and some pretty serious amount of terraforming is going to be needed. But these are either going to be farming areas, uh, we can maybe put like move our cattle pen onto here, and then essentially this middle area is where the house is going to be, right? So it's got like these two right angled steps tearing up it, and then we're going to terraform this and build into the middle. At least that's the plan. I've got a little bit of terraforming to do underneath, because currently we're just sort of vaguely flying in the sky. Although we could just do some like little columns to support this bit, it might look kind of cool. And so that gives you the rough layout of my plan. I'm gonna have this sort of diagonal, diagonal, right angled even, 
get my shapes correct, right angled house that goes around the back here and it's going to come right up essentially to this cliff edge. And then we're going to have like a little bit of a balcony that sticks out and hovers above this great void beneath us. Okay, that completes the roof and I've just got to decide what to fill it in with. Do we go for like a stone infill here or do we keep it as wood and try and kind of go for like a fairly natural looking house? Ugh, tough decisions, tough decisions. I'm actually really pleased with how this is coming together. For my usual building skills, this actually looks pretty damn good. Right, we need to go and get some sand because we need some glass. We've got a little bit more terraforming to do on some of these areas. And then I think we need to grab ourselves a hoe and basically turn this middle area here into farmland and clear out the remnants of this tree up here as well. Then we've got a little bit of a balcony to build, a few torches to place, a few little bits of fencing to sort out. And I think our little first base is going to be soon finished. Okay, there we go. We're starting to get the farm set up. Not yet got enough seeds, obviously, to fill everything. And I obviously want potatoes, carrots, etc. to be able to be grown in here as well. Inside, we've got everything nicely laid out. Not really that much to fill in here yet. I guess we probably need to get an enchanting table at some point. So that's going to mean cows, sugarcane, bookcases, you know, all that usual crap. Now, the last little thing, we've just got to make a little Romeo and Juliet balcony out here and try and do it without falling into the absolutely massive void that is sitting below us. And there we go. We have our own little, little balcony out and we can both survey the lovely world that our seed is. Just got a few little final decorations to put up around the house and then we're pretty much done with our little initial starting base. With the base build now all finished, it's time we better think about upgrading our equipment. And for that, we're going to need diamonds. So I think it's time to go back down the cave. We can't find any in the cave. We need to start digging deeper because we need to be getting better quality equipment. So let's go. Oh, wow. The cave really does go a lot, lot deeper. Oh, God. Getting down here is not going to be all that much fun, I don't think. Looks like there's like water down there and some lava as well. Now, I could, of course, just jump down at this point. But the problem is I've got to get back up somehow anyway. So I kind of like creating an escape route in case it all goes wrong. Well, the water here is actually really deep. Okay, there's a lot of iron around, that's for certain. Is there much of anything else? Let's just block up a little bit of the lava. This water is just so super deep. I'm never going to have enough breath to get all the way down there. I think even if there was some diamond, I probably wouldn't have enough breath to be able to mine it and get back up before I drowned. What depth are we at? We are 1 minus 15. <gasps> Creeper, okay, nice. How on earth do you get to him? We're on the way down. Do you think I'll ever find my way out of this cave? Oh dear, bad idea, shield! Oh, God! <laughs> yep, <laughs> that did. That was not quite what I had. <laughs> was not quite what I had in mind, if I'm honest. Wow, okay, right. Now, before we proceed, let's. <laughs> oh my God, what an idiot I am. Oh dear. Okay, so we're at the bottom of like a, a little bit of a cave, but it doesn't. Uh... It does proceed through there, but not very easily. Normally at this point, I look back in the edit and end up seeing some diamonds somewhere in a wall. Jesus Christ almighty, that scared me so much. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I just, I think I need my heart to recover for a second after that skeleton scare. Let's just mine a nice little bit of iron before my poor heart gives out. Christ, that scared me so much. Please, nothing else do that to me again. That is definitely diamond. Stress is an aggravation. I hope it's more than... Oh, double diamond there. Oh, we have hit the diamond jackpot. Okay, I'm out of torches, but that's fine. Let's just start getting some of this juicy diamonds. It's worth the heart attack for it. Cool. So, we managed to get ourselves eight diamonds from this little room. Well, that was certainly worthwhile coming down. Um, it did nearly kill me, but it was, <laughs> it was worth it. Just get this bit of lapis here. We've got a little bit of gold as well. Let's try and get out of here then. Uh, I think they're passive, aren't they? I don't think they actually attack you. Maybe we should just get back on our little block on our way out just to be on the safe side. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Jesus Christ, those creepers. How do people ever survive for... Thousands of days in this game mode. Guys, it's just like one continuous near-death experience for me. Oh, I think I have to get to have a lie down. 
This is ridiculous. Yay, sweet home and safety. Ah, oh, thank God at last. I would say that was a successful trip. We got our diamonds. That's the main thing I wanted to get. Now we can think about deciding to upgrade some of our equipment. Although we're not going to get that far with only eight diamonds. So before we wrap up this first episode, which I think has been pretty successful so far, I just want to sort out animal pens, sugarcane farm. So yeah, let's just do a last little bit of building work, get this stuff sorted. Okay, prepared myself a nice little growing area and I just plant all the sugarcane. I don't have enough to fill the whole area yet at the moment, but as it grows, we'll knock it down and continue to fill the full farm, and then that should provide us with plenty of sugarcane going forwards. Now, just the animals to sort out. Come on, follow the wheat. Yeah, that's it, follow me. Good cow, good cow. In you get, thank you. Right, now once you've finished panicking, you can breed. Yay, baby cow! Okay, now we just need to keep waiting for them to grow and we can start to expand our cow population. Mm. Okay, well that wraps up our first episode on our new hardcore world. Honestly, really pleased with the start I've had. Really pleased to get our little base set up and running. Pleased that we've now got a little bit of animal farm on the way. Uh, we need to capture some pigs to get in there. We've got our sugar cane growing, got our farm set up, got some diamonds, doing pretty well. Honestly, really kind of pleased. Anyway, next episode should be coming out within the next few days, so do subscribe to the channel as we continue on our hardcore world. 